go. Here's our first uh, intro for our new machine. We're gonna go over some of the, the changes. Of course, people have seen videos of our old machine. So things that have not changed, I'm not really gonna get into. Uh, first and foremost, uh, what everybody, and a major change is accepting credit card. As you can see here, there's a swiper where customers can swipe. Um, of course, you press in credit card here. Um, we have the tap, and this is for Apple Pay and Android Pay. Uh, right now, almost nobody uses Apple and Android Pay. Three to five years, uh, it's going to be much, much more common. So, of course, the machine is designed for the future. I, I think one major factor here is, and, and again, this is a testament to how far advanced and how much planning has gone into the machine. If you look here, there's a chip inserter. So the question is, well, why do you need a chip if they have swipe? Apparently in five years, credit cards are gonna be only chip. So the swipe, they won't even work. So that was news to me, but that was something that uh, manufacturing told me that uh, I found interesting. But again, that's important to note how, how much thought and how far advanced the machine really is. So that's important. Again, a lot of customers think, oh, well, people don't carry cash at the bars. I've told many customers I'm religious about collecting my points. I think it's a waste if I can get free air miles for nothing. Why deal with cash? However, if I go out, I'm going to grab a couple hundred bucks because, you know, who wants to wait in line? That's why. And often a lot of people are like that. A lot of bars have uh, change machines. And the question I say to customers that say to, you know, why do bars only use cash? Well, I say, well, what do people do about the pool table? They have quarters for that, punching bag, pinball. Uh, they obviously have quarters for those. So therefore, obviously people are using cash. A major point though, that, that some of those customers don't know though, and the reason that we've just now definitely made this mandatory, our new machine to have credit card is that you charge a dollar for cash. So I went on about how all that's because we need to note that the machine still accepts cash. However, it's going to be two dollars and nine cents uh, when we swipe the credit card with our new company we're partnered with. That's going to net you about a dollar eighty one. So when they're swiping that card, you're making almost double the money as well. Of course, no money gets stored, so there's no uh, taking up coin space and things like that. So. Um, you think about adding $2 per vent extra, even if you got an extra two vents a day cash, that's an extra $120 a month. So it's significant that we're going to charge a dollar coin and $2 a swipe, $2.09 and then it's just over $1.80. Conveniently here, this just switched to our Lyft ads. So of course, advertising is a great stream of revenue. Um, what's fancy about this though, if you look here, so if we partner with Lyft, who wants to wait for all the slides to come through? So this is a great feature. The customer, it's full touch screen. So the customer can shift to whatever ad they want. Uh, the dots here is to show how far you go. So that's great there. Uh, this will be more efficient though for customers. We're gonna eventually put instructions and different things and information about the charity here. And there's things that we're gonna do that we haven't even figured out yet. Uh, this opens a world of opportunity though in terms of educating customers on the machine and, and the charity and of course like everybody says is advertising. The machine uh, has Wi-Fi as well as you inside here you insert a chip, a SIM card capable. We don't want to be depending on the bar's Wi-Fi so every machine we're going to recommend that you have a, a SIM card. Uh, we're going to be partnered with T-Mobile uh, for that. The ads and the screens you'll be able to change these from home which is a great feature online you just plug in whatever photos it's going to allow uh, tuesday or wednesday or slower days so you can put specials on the machine uh, different types of advertising for different days you can set it automatically to come up for different things so again the internet opens a, being able to get the internet opens a world of possibilities and we're not even sure exactly how we're going to fully benefit from it but as we continue to get used to these machines, we're gonna add different things to it to continue to have uh, our machines make more money and your machines as well. Um, again, you can see all the different payment things here. Um, what are we missing, Justin? Anything else? Again, QR code can go here. You see that? That's our goal with Lyft. Uh, the straws are about the same as before. I feel, I feel like I'm missing one thing. Do you wanna go into the payment app? 
Oh, that's what I was forgetting. Yes. All right. So All right. Again, we, due to the internet, the app. Back. back. Bottom left. Yep. Back again. Now hit the cog up the top right. Oh, the settings button. So, folks, the settings button here, there are different buttons. So, you have a password that you can do. I'm not going to get into that now or give our password to the world, but... The bottom line is uh, you're gonna have all the machines connected to a login. So from home, you are able to see exactly how much the machines are making. So the, for resale value, that's gonna be huge for people. It'll track everything, so that's significant. As well as if there's an issue with the machine, doesn't happen a lot, but that way you don't have to wait three weeks. You can give great service, you show up right away. The bars will be thoroughly impressed that you're spot on. And on the same day something happens, boom, you'll be there next day. They'll like that before they even have to call. Of course, making you more money. Uh, and as well, saving time. You won't have to service as much to be able to, um, to give good service. As well as you can, rather than servicing, you put your time into promoting and marketing. That's also significant. So that's huge for people. I know a lot of customers are excited about, about that option. We get asked a lot. Uh, to sum it up, these are all great features. What's most impressive about this machine is if you notice that we have all these features and it's still the same size as our old machine. This shell is the exact size, the exact shell of our old machine. It's reversed so it opens from the other side, but literally the, the core is the exact same. It's huge. Um, we have had competitors, the Blowdad machine, if you've seen that one, that they're out of business. Their machine had some of these features, the problem is the machine was freaking huge. So what you're gonna see is you put that huge machine in a bar, they're gonna give you a bad spot. So what's the point of having features is if they're gonna put it in the back where no one can see the machine. So we figured, and when we were, you had our old machine, the good part is it was small. So we got a great spot for it. A lot of customers, first thing they did when they see our old machine is, hey, this is small. Small is good, that way you get a great spot. Heck, you can put these on the counter sometimes in a bar. That doesn't really get in the way on the end of a bar counter. So the point is, is that we have these technologies, but it's still really small. And I think to sum it up, that's the most important part of this machine is the fact that not only do we have all these gizmos and gadgets, the fact that we've kept it small to ensure that you've got a really good spot in the bar still. And I think that's the key. All right, it's good.